welcome to Pinot Crossover, guys. Your host for tonight, Marky Mark. And here we at talking about basketball. We got a couple of Filipinos here tonight. And on my right, we got our co-host right here, Ingrid. How are you feeling? Good. A little bit. I'm a little right. bit. Yeah. We're going to talk about it later. We're going <laughs> to release all that. On our, on our left side, we got James here. Hey, hey, hey. We're here because we brought it to talk about yeah. the game that just happened. So it's going to be fun. <laughs> and over here, we got our special guest. Introduce yourself. On the audience right there. Yeah. RJ Building Bridges uh, from Mega City Basketball. Awesome. It's good to have you because we had Jesse here a couple weeks ago from Mega City as well. But we're here to talk a little bit about you. Before we get started and talk about some NBA topics, let's talk about you, man. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, um, I mean, uh, RJ Williams, RJ Building Bridges, uh, Commissioner of Mega City Basketball. Uh, I mean, what can I say? I just live in life to the fullest. Uh, ball is life. You yeah. know what I mean? We're out here enjoying ourselves, living life to the fullest, so, yeah. yeah. So what really got you into basketball then? Oh, uh, honestly, I, I used to play baseball oh, okay. uh, growing up, um, and then one of my best friends was on a Filipino basketball team or something like that, um, and then, like, obviously it's my best friend, I want to play with him. We ended up going on the same team, um, and then from there it was just kind of, you know, it took over the passion, uh, and I've just been involved ever since. What were your roots then in terms of basketball? Like, did you used to watch certain players back in the day? Who was who did you idolize? Team yeah, or player? I mean, I'm a I'm a like I'm a Jordan fan all the way. Uh, yeah. Grew up watching his '92, '93 days. Uh, grew up around the whole shoe culture. Uh, that's my guy. You know, what I mean, he's a goat, no doubt. Yeah, that's sick. Tell us about your roots with uh, with Mega City. How did you how did you come up uh, and and now a big part of Mega City? How did that all came about? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean. At the time, uh, there was a new league going on, and me and my friends were kind of like playing in the gym together. Mm -hmm. uh, so we actually played the first first game, first first year in 2009. Um, and then from there, I was trying to try kept involved. Uh, and then uh, I got I got more involved with the company mm -hmm. in terms of like the operation side. Uh, I was actually a ref for a bit. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, an opportunity came up where I could get, like, more influence within, um, like, the, in, the, the, sorry, the company. Mm -hmm. And uh, from there, I just, you know, took my shot and we're sitting here now with you guys. And what can I say, you know? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, tell us uh, your experience. How did you, what, um, well, what did you start with when you were with, uh, with Mega City besides playing for them? Uh, how did you came about meeting Jesse? Like, what oh, yeah. was your relationship with him like? Yeah, you know? um, me and Jesse yeah. actually were like childhood friends. Uh, he was one of my brother's really good friends growing up. Mm -hmm. uh, we played baseball together. Mm -hmm. uh, his dad was a coach, and my dad ended up being a coach as well. Mm -hmm. So we spent a lot of time like traveling together and, and uh, just growing up. Uh, and then from there, uh, he was he was... Uh, actually in the same high school as me. So we were still kind of continuing that bond. Um, and then after high school, he, he, he was the guy who started the league uh, back in 2009 and, and we played. And from there, it just grew and grew. And uh, I saw ways I could help and like get you know, more involved. And every chance he just kind of like, you know, said, yeah, go ahead, it's a great idea. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I mean, there's so much that's been going on the past almost 10 years, right? We're hitting yeah. 10 years this year. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's been great. It's been a blessing. Yeah. So awesome. from yeah. Mega City, it, it kind of gave you an opportunity to do a lot of things, right? Yeah. Well, meeting DeMar, uh, DeMar DeRozan when you guys yeah. did the commercial. Yeah. And then now um, having um, Bobby Webster, Dewan Watson in, in, your, in your league. Yeah. So yeah. what's... Tell us like more about that one. Like he gave you all these opportunities. Now in their tenth year, do you guys have goals or other things like that for? Yeah, for yeah. sure. I mean, uh, I guess to start off, like uh, having these characters, uh, these these personalities, mm -hmm. these guys involved in the industry, uh, playing in our league, and and like you know showing their true competitive nature and and really bringing out who they really are on the courts. Um, that's just a blessing to observe and be around. I mean, these are some really, like, these are the industry leaders, you know, and, and they're here uh, involved in our product, involved in our, in our operations, right? So, I mean, that's just a blessing uh, itself, uh, having these guys at the gym with us, right? And um, in terms of, like, meeting DeMar, uh, like, I haven't really met him, but we were there at the shoot. Yeah. And, you know, I was kind of more operating, making sure the guys were, like, in their situations and stuff like that. Um, but, like, again, just being a part of that whole, like, Raptors with the North campaign. Um, on the back end of it, like, like 
it's, it's just incredible to be around. Yeah. Uh, I know that when I was a kid, like, <laughs> I didn't have those opportunities and to see all that kind of stuff uh, and, and being exposed to it and then showing, like, you know, yeah. my friends and family that this is what I'm doing and, and this yeah. is what we're out here, like, doing with basketball. Um, it inspires me to do more, you know, because, like, uh, again, like, it's not about me anymore. It's, it's the next generation after us that's going to, like, really tell our story, right? Yeah. So, uh, uh, I mean, everything that that balls bring or brought uh, was was just a blessing. I right? can't complain, right? Well, that's um, awesome. Man. It's all yeah. love, right? Yeah. It's just crazy how, yeah. like, you guys step up, like, to the new heights so when it comes to amateur basketball. Yeah, because, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, definitely, like, you know, uh, there was at the time there was there was no product out yeah. there like us. Yeah. Uh, nowadays, you see a league popping up left and right, and, yeah. and you know, it's, I feel like we kind of set the template for it. Mm -hmm. um, and kind of mimicking your, your yeah, yeah. And I, yeah. I mean, you know, uh, they say uh, imitation is the best uh, compliment, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, uh, on that angle, like it's 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 really about uh, watching the game grow, uh, helping out whoever else is out there that wants to like push it to the next level because it's ball. Like, I always refer back to it, but it's always, it's ball. Like, yeah. it's ball at the end of the day, right? It's the love so, of the game yeah. kind of Yeah, thing. that's what For brought sure. us together, like, our community. That's why we're sitting here. That's why we have a whole studio around it. Like, you know, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. that's kind of the leading factor in this whole situation, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And uh, our last question, just to end off our segment about yeah. you, is um, what has basketball done for you in terms of life, life lessons, or has changed or made you who you are, and, and some piece of advice that you want to give out there to, to kids or people that are pursuing their passion or their dreams? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, again, like, I'm a passionate guy. I'm, I'm, I'm really creative, and, like, you know, I'm, I'm really into business. I'm, I'm really into leadership. Uh, and these are all things that Mega City and, and basketball has provided an opportunity for me to like put out there and, and do my best work. And and uh, I mean, I don't even think it's work anymore. It's just like posting stuff on Instagram, setting up like uh, like different things in the background, and that's what I love to do, you know. <laughs> so so more so like I would have done these things regardless, but now it's like channeled into one specific thing that that everybody can kind of enjoy, right? And that's that's genuine about me because like. It's it's ball, man. It's ball, man. It's, you know, it's crazy. It's ball is life, basically. Yeah, yeah. What you do now. Yeah, <laughs> and I guess uh, in yeah. terms of uh, words, I want to pass on. Uh, I mean, shoot your shot. You know, yeah, like, yeah, the, the worst sure. worst thing is gonna happen is a no. Yeah. Um, and I think that like you just gotta keep going, and and things happen along the way, but it's what you what you do after the fact really kind of shines and shows who your character is, right? So, I mean, keep going, that's it. 